V. Liberation Day. Martin takes take us home. Donovan, look, it's Diana's fighter. She's getting away. Don't shoot. Breathtaking. For those of you joining us late in the pictures on your screen or coming out of us, coming to us live by satellite, where it's already night on this first anniversary Liberation Day, the day the visitors were driven from Earth, never to return. Meanwhile, here in Los Angeles, where it's late uh, early afternoon, I am at the Club Carrero, where Elias Taylor, one of resistance heroes, is hosting the Liberation Day celebration. He knew already successful cabaret. Can you make it sound as if the restaurant business is my whole life? I also a technical advisor on the new film, Lizard, Lizard Kill. How about, how could I forget that? The same way you forgot to mention my new line of footwear, space buses, the foot gear for galactic heroes. Is there anything else? No. I would like to say to any of my old buddies out there, if you need a helping hand, you know where to come. I'm sure they will. Now let's go to live directly to the captured mothership and look at what scientific progress has been made since liberation. Take away, Dirk, Dirk Small. Thank you, Debbie. I'm standing here with Ethan Bates, head of Space Frontiers, and former resistance le- lead- leaders, Dr. Julie Parrish, and then KDHB newsman, Mike Donovan. Mr. Bates, Science Frontiers, as a mass producer of red dust bacteria, the resistance as a task you formed during the visitor operation. Which, what convinced you to take such an enormous risk, Dr. Parrish? She can be extremely persuasive. That's why I put in charge of the mothership project. For the moment, the government awarded us the contract and where visitors have advanced culture. I have every confidence that Dr. Parrish will succeed in unlocking their mysteries. We have a very special working relationship. She really worries me, Robin. I love her, but she seems to be so distant. She's still learning about human emotions. Give her the little time. But she's different. Everything is different now. I know. But the worst is behind us. Why don't you take a couple of days off? Why don't you take a couple of days and go on to Santa Cruz? Like you planned. Are you sure you can manage? Of course I can. She'll be fine. That is Elizabeth. Yes, the star child. Half human, half visitor. She's almost directly below us now. We're moving in. We're going to attempt to land. And then we'll be speaking with Elizabeth. Why can't they leave us alone? Something is happening. As if we're being pushed. Literally pushed away from the ground. Do something. Nice going. You're the best assistant I ever had. But you in a couple of weeks. They make you a cameraman yourself. Does that mean you were considering a position at the anchor desk? No, that's show business. I'm a newsman. Wait. Mate, mate, wait. I see you outside. I'll catch up with you. Is anything... Is everything all right? Sure, fine. Why? You seemed a little on the edge during the, this during the interview. Maybe I didn't enjoy the same special relationship around Bates that you do. This whole investigation with the mothership had been stalled. Diana has a secret security code we can't seem to break. There's so much we need to learn about. Like the conversation process, for one thing. The conversion process, for one thing. You mean, you heard from Sean, huh? No, we did not heard from Sean. I heard from the state school, no, oh joy. They feel guilty about having him sent here. There, he needs my help. He resisted rehabilitation. I'm g- I know him. I'm going up there this weekend. If I, I have to bust into the place. Sorry, I forgot Saturday. I'll make it up to you. That's what you said last time. That was last time. What are you doing? It's Liberation Day, remember? You're about to be liberated. Liberated. That is Elizabeth. She is a star child, half human, half visitor. She's almost directly below us now. We're moving in closer. We're going to attempt to land. We're going to speak with Elizabeth. Something's happening. As if we've been pushed. Literally been pushed from the ground. Do something. That's the way it was that this afternoon, when we attempted a live interview with a star child, we 
hear more on this later. Now let's go to Keith Carrier's a important upcoming trial of Diana. Not since the Nuremberg trials of World War Two been this kind of international Mr. Mr. Tyner is here. Mr. Bates, send him in. I thought you would, we'd be celebrating, you'd be celebrating Liberation Day. I ended celebrating a year ago. I got right to work building a very fine security agency. I work. No, thank you. Always a sp- always to the point, uh, Mr. Trailer. Just like your convert operations in Central America. That's ancient history. Not to mention Angolia, Middle East. Shall I go on? What do you want? How do you like to work for me? Doing what? Doing what you do, Mr. Tonner. Providing security for the highest bidder. Me and you? Me and Science, Science Frontiers? You know about our company? You manufacture red dust. You're studying alien technology. It is my hope that from this terrifying invasion, mankind will recap some benefits while you reap the, reap the profits. Tell me, Mr. Tyler, what would you do with, with Diana? I use her for a try get practice. Then you reject the argument that she can atone for her crimes by helping us fight against disease. Diana is a disease. Yes, but would, if we take her life in vengeance, we condemning millions of people to death because we don't have a knowledge she can give us. Remember the visitor's office as a cure for cancer. Waste my time, uh, Bates. On the contrary, Mr. Tyler, I'm offering you the opportunity of a lifetime. Five hundred thousand dollars. You're going to be okay covering Diana's trial. Trial, sure. But I still think the trial is a waste of money. There is a, there is a, this is a democratic, democratic society, Martin. Everyone here is innocent until they are proven guilty. You have to understand that on our, my planet, justice is swift and final. Diana will get what's coming to her. She's going to get a fair trial. She deserves death. Peel time. Every 12 hours for the rest of my life. What a racket, huh? Nathan Bates manufactured the red dust, then turns around and markets the antidote. And Nathan Bates, everything is a price. <coughs> is that all you've got left? It's all right. Just remind me to get the refill later. Are you going to look... Be- oh, oh, you'll be going to be looking for a new assistant. I'll call you as soon as I get to San Cruz. Have a good time, all right? I will. Don't worry about Elizabeth. She's going to be fine. I know. Grandpa, well, Mummy's going away for a couple of days. Grandpa's going to take care of you. Will you come back soon, Mummy? Of course, baby. I miss you, Elizabeth. I'll be a good little girl. I miss you, Mummy. Ready or not, here she comes. Get back. Come on. Let's get her out. Back, buddy, back. Come on. We're going to follow her. The chopper, come on. What do you think? You'll get from stealing a helicopter to use a pulse surprise. Where's the ambulance? That, there it is. That, that truck? Where? That one. Do you see it entered the underpass? No. Then it's got to have been waiting all along. Mike, I don't understand. They could have pulled a switch. I bet a monthly pay that the ambulance of Diana is back of that truck. There she comes. Diana looks stiff, confident. Confident she's acquitted for crimes against humanity. There must be a hint of, there is a hint of, there's even a hint of a smile on her face. There, she, when she raises her arm, you see the bullet hit just below her heart. You see the panic caused by the attempt on Diana's life. We are still waiting to hear as to the seriousness of the wound. If that injury had been sustained by a human bullet, so so close to heart, the victim would be near death. Grandpa, my arm hurts. It's okay, honey. Grandpa's going to make it better. Here, sit down. The surveys frontiers? I need to speak to Dr. Julie Parrish. All right, take her inside. Hey, sweetheart. I'll take a look at your arm, okay? Robert, would you get me some ice, please? <coughs> sure. Good evening, Diana. Who are you? Nigel Bates, head of Space Frontiers. Responsible for dismantling the analysis of my mothership. Is losing propulsion so far. Which is but why arranged for your assassination. With a train side at dart? Not too bad. I was rather looking forward to my day in court. I don't know, Diana. 
You're guilty of crimes against humanity, genocide, and yes, cannibalism. That's a matter of taste. What do you want? As far as the rest of the world is concerned, you're already dead. I shall kill you right now, and no one ever know the difference. But you can have something else in mind. I will keep you alive. I will provide sustainable accommodations, appropriate food for food for non-human, of course. In return, turn you share your secrets with us. We we'll start with a vaccine against cancer. We've developed some pest-resistant crops, population pollution-free fuel, some recumbent DNA. I see. I cure the ills of the world, and you get the credit. That's a deal. I turn you to spare shoes. Still could, Mister Tyler. My options seem limited, very, as well as my space. If you cooperate, I'll let you live outside under guard, of course. Hell, one of my companies controls the red dust and the antidote. That is how the visitors of light. That's how the visitors like Martin and Willie can exist outside. You can too, Diana. Interesting. I think about it. Don't think about it too long. I'll be back. That assassin is ready out of the country. Look, Bates. Remember our little bargain. When there's no work more she can give you, she's mine. I hear a car pulling away. Can't see it. All right, careful. I'm going to hit any proof if she's still alive. If she can, if she is still alive, you must, she must be killed. First we get the proof. Then we tip the law. Come on. Yeah. She was there, all right. All wrapped up in some in somebody's pocket. Give me the camera. I'm sorry, Mike. Drop it. What are you doing? You're letting in the red dust. Suffocation takes too long, Diana. I'm going to do the job right. But listen to me. You're destroy uh, destroy her. Uh, Diana's an evil, a sickness. Everything you touch dies. You don't bar- you don't bargain with pestilence. You wipe it out. You have something I want. Miss David, Mike Diana's gone. She escaped. It's my fault, Mike. It's my fault. No, Martin. It wasn't your fault. Oh, no. You've got to stop her. She's going to signal them. She's going to bring back the fleet. There's not much time left. She's going to, she can't survive on Earth. Red dust in the air will kill her. She's finished, Martin. The antidote. She took my last pill. She's got 22 hours. You've got to do this for me. I will, Martin. What? Tell me. She's sleeping. Fitfully. But she'll be, she, but she's asleep. Good. I just feed, fed horses. Must have gotten really cold last night. Why? How is she doing, Robert? She's not retaining fluids. Her fever's still high. I just can't break it. What do you mean you can't break it? She's been burning up in a, for over an hour. Her body can't sustain itself on that level. At that level. Her sister's probably just fighting some infection. Come on, Jilly. Jilly, you saw the arm. She, that's not an infection. She's a hybrid. I don't know what to do. We've got to do something to help her before it's too late. You're afraid you're going to die. Well, or so am I. But there must be something we could overlook. Well, there it is. Maybe you're right. Maybe she's not fighting infection. Maybe she's turning into one of them. She's taken her horse. Let's go. We got, you've got a problem, little lady. Can I give you a lift? They're very kind of you. Well, the pleasure of it is all mine. Hey, your skin is cold as ice. I know, I get these terrible chills. Maybe it could warm you up. Funny, I was thinking the same thing. I'm going to take you some place that's sort out of the, that's to some place that's out of the world. I sit down, there's on the loose. Come down, Tyler. Come down, Tyler. She can't get away. I catch her mothership. It's too heavily guarded. She'll never risk it. I'm not talking about the mothership. Southwestern Tracking Station, not far from where she escaped, is fully automated facility, able to cover and transmit signals over billions of miles of distant space. She'll call them for help from there. That makes sense. Make, take the three men, not the amateurs. I'll go this way, my way. You work for me. Wrong. I'm a free agent from now on. Free agent from now on. I stay. I'm entitled to a refund. I'll tell you what to do with your money. What? That would, that, but that would be rude. How will I know if you killed Diana? I'll let you live. A man who just, who just 
left. He's a problem. No, Mr. Bates. It's history. What are the reason? Why are we stopping the golden rule? I do, I do something for you. You do something for me. I see. That's nice. That's real nice. She left her horse. You can't be far. Robert, it's like coming from that cave. Robert, look out. There's Elizabeth. She's in there. The snakes. The cage must be full of them. We've got to reach her. No, it can't. It cannot be. Robert, she's going through a metabolic change. My God. And into what? Wait a minute. No. Can't it interfere right now? Whatever this process is, she's going through. Well, I've got to let it run its course, as you could be damaged, maybe even die. You're improve, improving. What the hell are you doing here? I was on my, that was my line. I think you know what I'm doing here. Diana, Diana's dead. Not unless you killed her. You already knew all about this. Never mind what I knew. No. Who are you working for? CIA, FBI, listen. Do you hear that? That's the home signal. Marlene is right. She's trying to reach her, them. Oh yeah, it's okay. It's coming from over there. Check out the out the computer. This is it, Mister Donovan, Mister Tyler. How nice of you to see me off. You didn't have this much time. Marlene only had one pill left. I'm going after her. Circle around outside. Fire a shot if you sh- if you spot her. One shot and that's all it needs. We come, we come on full circle, haven't we? Drop your weapon. Goodbye, Mr. Donovan. This is Martin. I had her dead. Next time is only next time. The transmission is interrupted. I would have been here sooner. What a primitive planet. We, we were afraid you might be dead by now. The red dust. I don't know why, but it doesn't affect me or you. Our mother's ships and our spy fighters. How many of all left the Earth system? Enough English.